Hi everyone, it's Dr. Jill and PJ here. We've been giving you a lot of updates on email and our Facebook page and via text, but we thought we would speak to you in person today to let you know that Health Kids Pediatrics is still your medical home, and we're happy to say that we're still up and running, healthy and safe here at the practice. Obviously this is a very anxiety-provoking situation. Um, we have our parents at home, we don't wanna bring anything home to them. Our staff members, Dr. Jill, all have children, we don't want them to get sick. I'm type 1 diabetic, that's obviously a fear of mine. Um, so we want to do as much as we can to keep everybody happy, healthy, and as calm as possible. Um, yeah, yeah so we've set up our well visits mm -hmm. for the morning. So we're trying to keep all sick people out of the office until after lunchtime if possible. Um, so we're still, obviously our vaccines are important, monitoring development for our babies and growth. kids who need growth development, right. things like that. All, all very important. important. Um, so we're trying to limit our well visits to mornings only this way. We can have a nice, healthy, clean office, and we are cleaning multiple times daily after every visit, very thorough. Um, so we're doing our best with all of that. We do have enough personal protective equipment right now to be able to stay open and see patients, but as with everybody asking, if there are any donations that you can give regarding masks, gloves, gowns, anything like that that there's excess of, um, we're always open to it and appreciative of any donations uh, to help keep us safe and keep our patients safe as well. Right. And if we do have too many donations, there's obviously plenty of hospitals who need that as well, so we could always pass that along. Um, you've probably heard a lot about telehealth over the past couple of weeks, more so over the past week or two. We have started doing that in the office as well. Um, we would like to keep this as your pediatric medical home. So for things like coughs and runny nose, stuffy nose, there's obviously limits to telemedicine and there's only so much we can do, but things that are minor, we might be able to handle through a, a video chat visit versus actually coming into the office. So that is available. We know there's plenty of people who are doing it. The insurance companies are sending emails all over the place. Urgent Cares are doing it now. We know your child. We'd rather keep them here and kind of see what's going on with us versus an outside source. Very important, yeah. We've had our scribes remotely um, scribing for us, so they'll come in with us on a telephone to limit the amount of people that are coming here. Our medical assistants who are coming in as well, they're, they're risking their safety and their families and their health to be here. So we appreciate everything that everyone's done here to keep our practice running so we can be here for you because kids will still get ear infections. Kids are still gonna get sick. Babies need vaccines, babies need to grow, and we need to monitor all of that. So even though this is a pandemic and everyone's appropriately concerned, we want you to know that we are still here and we're still available. Uh, reassurance sometimes is just all that people need and um, we wanna be able to be there for everybody. Exactly, stay healthy. See you soon.